So over the years, the Ravens have sort of been a safe haven for where running backs who feel like their careers are about to fall off the face of the map, where they can come and feel comfortable and they can have one more shot. One more shot at redemption. One more shot, one more opportunity to really try to get this thing back on track. We've seen it in the past with guys like Alex Collins. We've seen it with guys like Justin Forsett. Uh, we've even seen it with guys like Terrence West. Well, no, with Terrence West. Biggest issue with him, in my opinion, was that he went into a place where a lot of times there's no return. And what I'm talking about is the doghouse. And that leads me to this Adam Schefter tweet, this report that he put out this morning. And let's read it word for word. It said, the Baltimore Ravens, after losing three running backs to season-ending injuries, and just in case I need to remind you, even though I don't need to remind you, but I'm going to remind you so we can all relive it together one last time, even though it's going to get brought up again in the future. Those running backs were Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, and Justice Hill. So, after losing three running backs to season-ending injuries during the preseason and then scrambling to replace them, and of course they were replaced with Le'Veon Bell, Latavius Murray, and Devontae Freeman, uh, the Ravens have received trade inquiries from other teams interested in their current group of running backs per sources. Now, we talked about the doghouse earlier. Now, when, when I saw this tweet, when I saw this report, I tweeted out that this worries me for one reason and one reason only. And a lot of y'all already knew what I was referring to. My guy tucked the goal. He said, I'm worried they'll trade Tyson. Uh, my guy Haitian Sensation said, I think it's Williams and I don't like it. Uh, my guy Cameron Neal said, please don't let Tyson be the one on his way out. And a, a lot of us, the way we feel about Tyson Williams uh, is the reason for that. The reasoning behind that is because of what we've seen from the Ravens. The Ravens are a team. They may not say exactly what they're doing. But they will give you signs that point toward what they are going to do. Sometimes those signs will be subtle. Sometimes they will be like a 180 and they'll try to trick you. Other times they can be pretty straightforward. Now, some more recent signs for the things that they've done where it's been like, oh, wow, they showed us, but we didn't even see it. Was while they was they still had Joe Flacco. They tried to sign a quarterback named Colin Kaepernick. And Colin Kaepernick and Joe Flacco, they are polar opposite quarterbacks. And when they initially tried to sign Kaepernick, I was like, ah, oh, that's interesting. That's very different. So that obviously didn't work out. But then they stuck with that same plan, and then they signed RG3, another quarterback polar opposite from Joe Flacco. And I was like, what? They, they signed RG3, but this was to help the transition from Joe Flacco to Lamar Jackson and looking back at it it was like wow master plan look at them Ravens how about that so that was a sort of subtle but also sort of straight up way of doing things and then even more recently this was the whole 180 when the Ravens this is what this is how they play their hand they could do a slick sometimes before the draft Eric DaCosta man I'm I'm insulted I'm so insulted that y'all would say that we don't have receivers. Y'all, I'm insulted that y'all would say that our receivers aren't good enough. I'm insulted by that. Here comes Rashad Bateman in the first round, and here comes Tylen Wallace in, what, the fourth, I believe. So they have their way of doing things, and they have their way of sort of showing you, like, hey, again, they could be straightforward, or they could, like, they could do something where they kind of try to sneak it to you. But anyway, with this, a lot of us are concerned with Tyson Williams because of what the Ravens have shown us based off of his snap count, based off of the reports like Jeff zrebic has been saying that he sort of fell out of favor with the Ravens because of the fumble. And he also said that the Ravens, they, they said, Jeff Zrebic said that the Ravens felt like he wasn't running the same after he took a big hit against the Raiders. And I was thinking, what? Ah, what? That's that one like kind of like blew my mind a bit because I was thinking like, oh, okay, that's how they feel. Like he's been running a, a bit differently 
since he took a big pop against the Raiders. And I understand this is his first time starting. This was his first time starting. Um, because, and, and this opportunity was not one that was expected. Now, again, of course, you got to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But I know Tyson Williams, he ain't seen none of this coming. None of us did. Like, to lose every one of your top three running backs from the previous season, like, nobody can see that coming. But it happened. Um, so, with the Ravens, with them, they lim- they started limiting his snap counts. And then even in the Raiders game. Like, in the Raiders game, he had, he had a nice first half. He did have a fumble now. But he had a nice first half, and then he only had, like, two carries in the second half. And it was like, oh, what, what was that about? And then we saw them just really try to implement those other running backs over Tyson Williams. Um, and, and then, of course, in this last game, he was inactive, which was very strange. So you got to think that the the running back that teams are most interested in is the one that the Ravens seem to be the least interested in. And that would be a Tyson Williams. Um, but these things, you, you, you never know till you know. But we'll see how everything works out. Because if this is the case, because, you know, like, Ra- Ravens are always looking to make moves. they always looking for some draft picks. But I wonder, for any of these teams that are interested in trading for, uh, whether it be Tyson Williams, whether it be Le'Veon Bell, whether it be uh, Devontae Freeman, uh, whether it be Latavius Murray, you got to feel like um, the Ravens, of course, will love a draft pick, but they also might love an offensive lineman. They also may love a cornerback. They, who knows? We'll see what they do. Now, the, the wording of the article. Let's look at some pieces of the article to see how Adam Schefter really worded this thing because that was very interesting and it caught my eye as well. He said, uh, Baltimore responded by signing former New Orleans Saints running back Latavius Murray and Devontae Freeman, as well as former Kansas City Chiefs running back Le'Veon Bell. That veteran trio joined second-year running back Tyson Williams, who currently is Baltimore's second-leading rusher behind star quarterback Lamar Jackson. So he threw in Latavius Murray, he threw in Devontae Freeman, threw in Le'Veon Bell. But then when he was talking about Tyson Williams, he said that that veteran trio joined second year running back Tyson, who currently is Baltimore's second leading rusher behind star quarterback Lamar Jackson. So the way he spoke of Tyson Williams, he was sort of giving him that boost. Ravens must have uh, sent Adam Schefter a little something on Cash App for that one. And then... It also said, watch this, watch this, in another paragraph. It said, Jackson, Lamar Jackson, uh, the only quarterback in league history with multiple 1,000-yard rushing seasons, has run for 279 yards on 42 carries over Baltimore's, Baltimore's first four games, averaging 6.6 yards per carry. All right, so that's Lamar Jackson's average. So watch this, watch this. Williams has 164 rushing yards on just 27 carries, averaging 6.1 yards per attempt. So, again, another nice little boost for Tyson Williams. And the way that they did it, the way that they worded it, Lamar Jackson, the quarterback, he has some design runs, but he also has the runs where he just scrambles and takes off. So his average is expected to be higher. But his average is 6.6. So it's like, oh, wow, okay, 6.6. Nice, Lamar, okay. But Tyson Williams, he said Williams has 164 rushing yards on just 27 carries. So again, that wording, it's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. Averaging 6.1 yards per attempt. So they're saying, Adam Schefter, again, that cash app must have went through. He got that notification, that little thing from the Ravens. But with average, with him averaging 6.1 yards per attempt, it's like, oh, wow, that average is like right behind Lamar Jackson's average. That's pretty good. And then it says, while Murray has 151 yards and a team leading three touchdowns on the ground. So they, they, they kind of like threw Murray in at the end like, hey, y'all interested in him too? Cool, but Tyson's your guy. So <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows? But if, if I had to give my honest opinion, which I'm sure y'all have already come to a conclusion from what we've said already, uh, I would have to think that the sort of pecking order uh, of interest for teams to trade for a running back would be Tyson Williams at the top, um, and then Latavius Murray, uh, and then Le'Veon Bell, and then Devontae Freeman. Now, um, if they 
could get if, if they could get anything for Devontae Freeman, I would be extremely impressed with these Ravens. If they could get a draft pick for Devontae Freeman, I would be like, wow. Seriously. That's not a shot at Devontae Freeman at all. But just if the Ravens could actually pull that off, I would be surprised. Now, I think the other guy, well, Le'Veon Bell, I don't think it's going to be him because based off of the last game, they, they love them some Le'Veon Bell, and they are ready to use him like crazy. And then Latavius Murray, I feel like the Ravens, I feel like they really love him too. Of course, last, last week he was the, the starter, um, and then he's been getting a lot of work uh, ever since he came from week one. He's been getting a lot of work ever since week one. So I don't think that they want to let him go. I just don't. I feel like Latavius and Le'Veon, those are the two where I feel like they, they ain't going nowhere for sure. I feel like if, if anybody ends up being traded, then it'll be either Tyson or Devontae. Either one of those two. And y'all know which way I'm leaning a lot more uh, than the other. But it's one of those things we just got to wait it out and see how it goes. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like one of the Ravens running backs could be sooner rather than later because that trade deadline is approaching, I'm out.